Hello everyone, this is Ron from LearnerCon and in this video I show you an example of using AI in industrial automation. If you are an automation engineer, programmer or anyone working with PLCs, you know the challenges of writing efficient and error-free code for your system. It's often a time-consuming and meticulous process. The good news is that now Generative AI can assist you with this challenge, saving you tons of time and reducing potential errors. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to task AI to generate PLC code and then use it in TI portal. Okay, let's get started. In this example, I'm going to ask AI to help with creating code for a RAM generation function block and then use it in TI portal. As you may know, there are several AI tools available out there, such as ChatGPT, Copilot from Microsoft, and Gemini from Google. I checked them all. And among them, I found Google Gemini more suitable for what I'm doing today. So everything starts with a good prompt, working with any AI tool, which recommended to define a clear, transparent and concise prompt to get a good result. Okay, let's see what we have here. Here I have created my prompt in Notepad. So I want a RAM function block for TA portal. My RAM function begins from a start value and goes to the target value with the given input time in seconds and I define start and target as real and my time input as integer. I want my RAM starts with the enable bit on and stops when it's off. I also want an output to turn on when the RAM reaches the target value. And I would like to be able to reset the output with an input pulse. And in this case I would like to use counter instead of timer. My personal preference is to avoid using timers inside a function block as much as I can, especially with tools like this. Instead, I can use counter with clock because debugging is much easier. In this case, I'm going to use a CPU built-in clock pulse with edge detection. And as you can see, I've already activated this in the CPU setting. So this memory address will give me a 10 Hz clock. And the other two points that I'm going to put in my prompt is not using any keyword because AI tools tend to use keywords such as timer or counter as variable name, which cause problem when you try to compile. Okay, now let's copy and paste this prompt into Google Gemini. Okay, as you can see in just a few seconds, the AI tool has created close to 200 lines of code for me. So the code has been line numbered, has been commented, all variables have been defined in a proper manner with full comments. So it's a lot of admin work, right? So that saves you tons of time. So this code has been generated in SCL language. SCL stands for Structured Text Language and is one of the five standard PLC programming languages specified in the IEC 611.31-3 standard. SCL language is very similar to Pascal and is, and is really easy to follow and understand. The next step is to save this code as an SCL file and then insert it in TI portal. So I'm going to copy the code and then paste it in my notepad. It's always good to have a visual check and make sure the code has proper ending statement. In this case is end function block. Okay, I'm going to save this file. So make sure don't save it as text. Save it with extension SCL. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to the TI portal and try to insert the code. In TI portal, under the PLC folder, you need to point to the external source file. And there, here, there's an option to add new external file. So I'm going to double click here and point to the file. And click open. As you can see, an object has been added here. So right click on this object and there's an option to generate blocks from the source. 
So when I click on this option, it tries to compile the code and generate a function block in my PLC program folder. So here it gives me a heads up that during this process some new UDT might be generated. So I click OK. And then we can see the process started here. OK. I got several errors. So let's see what we have here. So I scroll up to the first line of the errors. So it starts with uh, syntax error, the specified value of virus stat is invalid. Okay, so probably a keyboard that is not acceptable for TI portal has been used in the code. So I'm going to ask AI to fix this problem. So I'm going to copy this error code and paste it in the same AI chat box. Okay, as you can see, AI confirmed the issue and has updated the code. So let's try it again and see if the problem has been fixed. So I'm going to copy this code. And then paste it in my notepad again. Save it and then switch back to TA portal. I'm going to remove this one. And insert the updated version. It's also good to clear this message window. Okay, so let's compile again. Awesome, so this time there is no error and I can see a function block has been added here. So as the next step, I need to call this function block and to check if it works as I requested the AI. Okay, let's open the main block. And I'm going to drop this here. Confirm the instance DB. Just need a few tags here to work with the function block. I've already created some tags, so let's add them here. Okay, enable. Reset. Output value, done bit, okay, so start value, let's, let's say starting from zero, I'm going to 100 over 20 seconds. And here I need to specify the bit for the 10 hertz clock pulse, so that was M00, right? Okay, all good. So I'm going to download this to my CPU. And then turn on the monitoring. Okay. We can see here that our clock is ticking. So by toggling the enable bit, my RAM should start. I will click on the enable bit and turn it on. So our RAM has been started. So within 20 seconds, it's going to hit 100.
Okay, great. So, and my ramp down is also on. And if I turn this off and then reset, it's going to clear the output. Okay, great. As you noticed, we managed to create a function block code, which without using AI depends on our programming skills. We needed at least a couple of hours to develop, test, debug, and validate. That's a good example that by using AI properly, how we can save time and increase our productivity. Okay, I hope you've learned something new today. If you enjoyed watching this video, I appreciate if you share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.